Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. We are still very much in our spring botanical vibe series. Look at this washi tape. This washi tape was sent to me a long time ago from the washi tape shop. I'm gonna link them down below because I do have a code for you guys, but this video is not sponsored because I've had it forever. Um, Now, if you guys remember, Back last year, I was using the see-through, the clear plastic PET tape. This washi tape is a little bit different. They're basically individual stickers. These are beautiful. Look at these illustrations. Potted plants, house plants, cactus, like all of the beautiful house plants. Let me know in the comment section, are you a good plant mum? Because I am not. <laughs> I am not. Now, like I said, they're individual stickers, which makes them absolutely perfect to just be able to peel off. You don't need a cutting tool to get around them. But I wasn't sure how these were going to work because they are outlined. So they all do have that white outline, which works beautifully, I'm guessing, on like white paper and, you know, going down that route. The washi tapes I used all of last year were the PET clears, so they were a little bit easier to disguise. The molds I'm using are these gorgeously, perfectly round pendant molds. These are measuring just over four and a half centimeters. And these were sent to me by one of my patrons, Paul, um, and they are from Amazon available. Now, my plan here is to give them a white background. I am going to be using the Let's Resin Polyurethane Resin. Now, I understand not everyone's going to be able to get hold of that polyurethane from Let's Resin. However, other polyurethanes are available here in the UK. Um, I Love Mixed Media also sells a white polyurethane. Alternatively, you could go with a white background in epoxy resin and just add your white pigment to match the outline of these plants. Gloves are on and we are about to mix up the polyurethane. Now the Let's Resin polyurethane is a 10 minute cure. So again, it's a super speedy polyurethane and it's a mixed time of 30 seconds, get it poured and within 10 minutes you can then demold. Now the white polyurethane from I Love Mixed Media here in the UK is a similar thing. It looks the same, it feels the same, but I would say it's more of a 15 minute demold. Um, and it's definitely not as watery as the Let's Resin one. So there are definitely differences between these two polyurethanes. Now that I've used them both quite a lot, I can tell the difference. So I'm getting this poured out. My intentions were just to make six, but I made a lot, so I was able to fill up another two. I'm also filling these up just to the, just to the surface. So there is a very, very slight dip. It's not going to the surface. I'm definitely not doming them. I want to fill them up as much as possible to enable me to add the washi tape quite easily at the end and then give them all a top coat. Now, if you are new to polyurethane, I've sped this bit of the film up for you, but it literally cures in front of your eyes within seconds. It is turning white and it's quite magical. The whole process of pouring and being able to demold is no more than 10 minutes, which is why I love using this sometimes for those kind of projects that just need to get done quickly. It is perfect. Now, when it came to putting the individual stickers, the individual washi tape stickers down, I wasn't quite sure at this point which route I wanted to go down. Did I wanna just leave the polyurethane pendants in the molds and put the stickers down, knowing that the stickers are bigger than the actual pendants? And yeah, at first I was like, will this work? Which way around will work better? And I actually decided after just doing this one here, it would be so much easier to demold all of my pendants and then work on them afterwards. Um, you can of course use a hole punch and punch holes in the tops of the stickers but for me it was just easier doing it this way around. Easier doing it this way around. So first off I'm going central. I'm thinking aesthetic. One plant pot right in the center of the pendant will look so pretty and then I thought what if I layer them up? Will it work if I layer them up? I thought it would be a really pretty aesthetic but the white outline on the paper was kind of bugging me. I didn't like the way you can see that white 
outline overlapping the pot behind. It just wasn't for me. Again, washi tapes are often used in journaling and scrapbooking and all of this. Um, but yeah, I went back to the one. I went back to one in the center because I just think they look crisp and clean and beautiful. And wow, the polyurethane was really hiding that white outline, which is what I really, really loved. And you can see here, I'm definitely going out and over those borders and we're gonna deal with that afterwards. But I think one pot in the middle is absolutely perfect. Now these would be gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous at a market. These would be perfectly beautiful gifts for your houseplant friend. Has anyone got a houseplant friend? I think I've only got one friend who has lots of houseplants and manages to keep them alive. Other than that, <laughs> literally don't know anyone. My house is filled with plastic plants that I do plan on keeping forever, but um, even then, <laughs> I'm struggling to keep them alive. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite house plant is. But I carry on regardless, putting them all in the center, knowing that we have some trimming to do. The trimming for me was the easiest part and it made so much sense to demold them before top coating. It was so much easier to get the overhangs off the bottom, the stickers that came off the bottom. So, so simple. A little snip with the scissors and it got them off like a dream. And pretty much all of these stickers did go over the hole. So they all covered the hole and the easiest thing to do, easier than using a hole punch because your hole punch is not necessarily going to be the exact size you want it to be. Get your blade, get your craft blade, go into the hole and simply spin it around, going around the outside edge of that hole and take out that excess washi tape that has covered the hole and they came out absolutely perfect. The next step for me, once I'd got all of this done, the next step for me was just to give them a simple top coat with UV resin. Now the UV resin I'm going to be using is the Let's Resin UV resin. Any Let's Resin will do. Let's Resin. <laughs> Any UV resin will do, but I am using the UV resin by Let's Resin. So again, my description box is absolutely filled to the brink with all of the codes you need for all of your things. Um, but this video is not sponsored by any particular brand. I'm out here using all sorts in today's video. So I went straight in with a UV top coat like I have done many times. And if any of you remember my washi tape videos from last year, there was always this kind of peskiness to using the washi tape in resin because I could always see it. Um, when I used the PET tape, I could always see that there was washi tape inside the resin. There was always that real visible edge, no matter how hard I pushed that washi tape down. Even though I still loved the results and I was obsessed with it and I loved the results of the videos, um, I always just felt like, oh, it's just such a shame you can see it. And I was particularly worried about these ones because these were the paper version, they're not see-through. So my initial thoughts were, we're definitely going to be able to see the edges of these, um, especially if the whites don't match. And I wasn't wrong. So you'll recognize this if you watched last year, you'll see that I'm getting the same kind of outline results. Like you can see that there's something in there. You can tell I've put a sticker in, I've put a washi tape sticker in and the edges is, it's just visible. And I was thinking to myself, I'm going to have to really push down hard on the edges to stop this from happening. And then I thought, what if I, what if I kind of just put a little bit of UV resin on first? So I'm not going straight in with the top coat anymore. A blob of UV resin, like a dot, a pea sized dot, rub it all over the washi tape, like really, really rub it in firm and pay special attention to those edges where the marks are coming up, where you can really see those edges through the resin, pay special attention to that. What if this will help disguise the washi tape in there? Like embed it, embed it in there, and we'll never know that this was even a sticker. This was even washi tape. So that was my initial thoughts. I thought, <laughs> I wonder if this will stop that 
outline from being visible in the end. And pretty much all of my results last year, you could see, you could see that there was something in there. And I think I was secretly hoping that it would just be completely disguised. So when anyone looks at this, there will literally be questions like, what is that? Is that, how is that in there? Is that a sticker? What is that? Um, but yes, we shall see. It went under the UV light. And I have to tell you one thing right now for me, this has been a game changing, a game changing result. Look at this. You can see all of those marks from the outside edge of that washi tape. This is the original one. This is what a lot of my results were looking like last year using the clear PET tape. And look at this. <laughs> Just take a second and look at this. This is unbelievable. Like unbelievable. When I got it out from under the UV light, I was like, are you serious? Are you serious? Is this all I had to do? <laughs> Is this all I had to do? Now, oh, listen, granted, I've not tried it with the PET tape. This is just normal paper washi tape. But wow, it was a total wow. You can't even see the difference between the white shade of the paper and the white resin. Look at this, guys. It is a total mind blowing thing that I'm pretty sure most of you would have known about already, but nobody told me. Um, you're probably sitting at home like, I do this all the time, Claire, so yay. <laughs> but I had no idea if this would work, if it would fully disguise the washi tape inside the resin. And it is a total wow from me. Now, of course, that was the first one I tried. So I really just made sure that it wasn't just a fluke. Um, I did the exact same technique to all of the others and I literally gave each and every one of these pendants a pea-sized shape, shape, a pea-sized dot of UV resin. I rubbed it all around the um, washi tape sticker to try and disguise those edges and not have them so visible and I did this to each and every one. Um, and I was just, I guess, really, really kind of <laughs> hoping. I was hoping and asking the universe to deliver and that the first one wasn't just a fluke and that we were going to get absolutely perfectly invisible encapsulated washi tape inside resin without any evidence whatsoever at all. Not even a smidge that we have used washi tape in resin. No one will ever know <laughs> what we've used inside these. Um, well, apart from you and everyone watching. And thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> if you like this, by the way, please give me a thumbs up. That's one thing I never ask you guys to do. Like, I very rarely remember to say, hit that thumbs up if you like what you see or if you feel inspired or if this has helped you in any way hit that thumbs up. That is really the only way that I can grow on YouTube. It's the only real thing that helps um, creators on YouTube is the thumbs up. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to the video. Uh, I repeated, um, eat, sleep, repeat. I did exactly the same to each and every one. I rubbed one layer in, I cured it under the UV light. When that was cured under the UV light, I topped them up normally with the UV resin. And I am telling you each and every pendant it was almost miraculous. It's one of those things that is so simple, yet I never thought of doing it before. Do you ever do something like, or does anyone ever tell you something and you're like, I wish I thought of that. I wish I thought of that. That's so simple. This is the original fully visible washi tape and each and every pendant that followed this, th their perfection, guys perfection. I very rarely, you know me, you you all know me, I very rarely claim perfection <laughs> on my channel. Um, I'm very much not about that life. But to disguise washi tape, yes, yes, perfection. There was... <laughs> I got no words. I got no words. I'm showing you each and every one. So you can see that it was a uniform thing. It was a total success. It worked in each and every one. There wasn't even one, not even one millimeter, 0.5 of a millimeter of an edge 
visible on any of these pendants because we gave them that very first rubbing coat. So it is the rubbing coat of UV resin that is going to hide your washi tape. Now, I'm very aware, like I said, I've not yet tried this with the clear see-through PET tape that I started using last year and I am more than in love with. Like, I'm obsessed by it. This one here, I can't even get over the crystal clarity of that washi tape. I I just can't get over this one. And again, like I said, I'm pretty confident most of you have already been doing this, but none of you told me. Okay. <laughs> I hope you found this helpful for your washi tape designs when it comes to resin um, because if you were following last year you'll know that most of my washi tape resin creations came out like the one on the left and I'm really hoping to see a change when I use the PET tape very shortly. I'm going to be doing another video to see what that looks like using this technique I'm over the moon because, you know, <laughs> it's just perfect. It makes them look perfect. This one here is my ultimate favorite. The, the, the sheer simplicity of the image, the illustration is stunning. What is that? Is that a sticker? How did that get in there? Is that a painting? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> because it's perfect. I will see you all in the next video. Let me know in the comment section down below if this has inspired you or if you already knew this information because yeah that's always the way sometimes when I find something that's really exciting and so many people already do it. So either way I hope it has inspired and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!